Hey guys, how are you doing? This is Mango Etc. and I'm here today to bring you the review for Digimon Try episode number 8. Forget everything, that, well not everything, just some things. Don't don't forget everything, please. Forget some of the things I said in my last review. This woman is shady.com, all capitals. At first I thought, ooh, that's a bit convenient. But then we see this little scene where the teacher comes over, comes over and tells her there's another distortion. And when we see her drop the creps and she rushes over, then I thought, okay, that's just me looking into things too much. But at the very end of the episode, when everybody is shocked to see Mikumon strike down, no, not even strike down, kill. Let's not be around the bush. She killed him. And this is a quick reminder, when the Digimon dies in the real world, they don't come back to life, so Leomon is gone. Which is quite sad, actually. He's gone, but yeah, as I was saying, when Mi Miyokumon strikes, <laughs> strikes down Leomon and everybody is shocked, she, she pretends to be shocked at first, she's like, oh. and then she smiles. So she is straight up shady. She, she's up to something. I don't know if she's on her own agenda. I don't know if she's working with the Digimon Emperor, which I'm going to talk about a little bit later. But she's shady.com right now. So we find out, yes, I'm kind of talking about this um, episode backwards, but yeah, we find out that Miyoko Uman is the, um, shoot, the word, I've lost the word. She is the cause of the distortions and uh, and the infections. She's the reason behind it. So what else do we have in the episode? So the first scene, what? Well, not the first scene. The scene where we have Joey and Gomamon having their little argument. I don't know. I just really, really felt it for Gomamon. For both of them, really, during that part. And I don't know. It was the voice acting, the voice acting was good, plus the addition of the background music, it just made it so, made it so more emotional, I'm like, why are you trying to make me cry, man? Like, stop it, stop it. It's not that deep, you don't need to be trying to make me cry, but yeah, we had that, that was good. I really did like that. Also, we had, so, okay, Digimon Emperor now, so, so I thought, that this guy wasn't the Digimon Emperor, and I still think that because he doesn't look like him. Doesn't look like him at all. But again, I know you can say that he you knows he's going older, he's gonna look slightly different. Plus to go along with that theory that this is actually Ken, the Digimon Emperor. We had all the Digidestinants like yo Ken, yo Ken, yo Ken, that's Ken, that's Ken. And obviously it would make sense if some of them mistook him. But everyone was seem to say it's Ken, so I guess that this is Ken. And on the on the, in addition to that, he had Imperial Dramon with him. You know, and Imperial Dramon is well half his Digimon, so I'm guessing that well, this must be Ken. But I can't really see a reason why Ken would go back to the dark side. I just can't see it. But you know, apparently, this is Ken. Apparently, okay, so distortion comes now, and at first it seems like Miyoko Mon is, was kidnapped. So maybe there is some good in Miyoko Mon, but she was kidnapped. Well, from what we see, from when we first see it, is portrayed as her being kidnapped, and then Palmon and Leomon and Gomamon hop into the distortion to go and try and save her. Miko tries to go into the distortion, but it doesn't work, so it doesn't look like humans can go into the distortion. And as soon as the other Digimon got there, Pokemon and etc., it was too late, the distortion was closed. So it was these three versus Impildramon with the Digimon Emperor. I'm just going to call him Digimon Emperor for now until we enter. And so I see him whiff off the wig and he's like, and the glasses are like, yo, Ken. I'm just gonna call him the Digimon Emperor, but yeah, we had these three versus Imperial John. The fight was alright. Not gonna lie, the fight was the fight was nothing special. Not gonna lie to you at all. 
But during the fight now, both Gomamon and Palmon reached their mega forms. Now, this I didn't like because of how it came about. So, like for uh, so for Garmon, we had Joey come back, and that was after the scene where Joey and Kari talk, and Kari convinces Kari is basically like to Joey. What is it that you're looking for an answer for? Because if it's an if you're looking for an answer for why you should fight, then you've got one. Garmon is your friend. His world is in danger. You fight for him. You fight for the because your friends. That's why you should fight. This convinced Joey to come rush over. And now he rushes over and he's basically saying sorry to Garmon, Garmon for the fight they had earlier. And then that's when he digivolves and obviously he ascends until he reaches a mega level. And like, I would have preferred a just straight warp rather than going from Ukakumon to Zudamon to the new Bikemon. Also, another problem I have with this mega thing is that like, it came out of nowhere but it didn't. What I'm trying to say here is like, in previous Digimon series, the Digimon, like, they fight, they fight, and they fight, and it seems like they're going to lose, and then that's when they usually get their new evolution. I wasn't really getting that kind of vibe within this episode, and I would have preferred it for at least one of them, Garmon or Palmon, and I'm leaning towards more Garmon, because he was in the most danger in that situation, because Joey wasn't there to begin with. So I'd have preferred if like we had the dangerous situation where he warped Digivolve and then after that meme you got hit like because after Joey spoke to her and that she got hyped up and then Palma warped Digivolve. That's what I would have preferred. That's my only small problem with this episode. So two more things I think before I wrap this up. So the first thing that I want to mention is how Izzy says something on the lines of because he was looking at this email that he got and he goes where he goes where the message that he got says uh, something about darkness and then going beyond it and he thinks that this is why they unlocked the mega forms um Palmon and, and Gomamon now I think this when it talks about the darkness I don't really think it means like that the darkness like something evil something bad maybe just like a personal problem that you have been suffering and just overcome it because they d both did that within this episode. Kari helps Joey come, come ah, get over his darkness, and then Joey helps Mimi get over her. So I think that this is what we're referring to. So if that is the case, then we are going to see some issues arise for all the other Digi Destins because I do believe within this try, they all unlock their mega form. So what are their problems going to be? Maybe. For Izzy, his is his like his shyness and just you no know, just getting his feelings out to Mimi. Maybe that's his, but I don't know. The last thing that I want to talk about is I do think that Miyoko Mon did evolve within this episode. Why I think this is because every Gen One Digidestin with the original looking Digivice. They change colour when they hit the ultimate form. And this has happened within the episode just before Mikumon or her digital form, whatever that is called, goes on her little rampage. We see go into Miko's pocket and we see the digivice turn black. So I think she did evolved. So yeah, that's the end of determination. It left us on a nice cliffhanger really did like it, left us in a nice place, nice cliffhanger, roll on, oh, what's the next one, confessions, yeah, confessions, roll on confessions, I'm going to give this episode, uh, hmm. give it a four, yeah, three, I'll give it a free, free star rating and a quarter review. Like always, guys, I'm asking for your thoughts and opinions. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. But most importantly, take care. Have a nice day.